Everton 3-0 win over Newcastle. Uh, my good friend Dwight McNeil, 79th minute, got the first goal. Decore in the 86th with a second. And Beto, not O'Rourke, uh, in the sixth minute of stoppage time, give the Toffees all three points. I want to say this first and foremost because I kind of think there's a different conversation to have about this game. And it's more about Everton. Um, but I think this just proves that week in, week out, midweek games for a lot of these teams who are new to Europe that play midweek games now more often than ever, going on the road and going on the road to a very emboldened Goodison Park that is upset, that is angry. This is going to be a tough game to, for the rest of the season, I think. Uh even if they're out of the relegation zone, I think Everton have a, a point to prove here. And, and I think this is a... Honestly, I hate saying this. Not hate it. I don't hate Everton. But, like, this is a decent team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will... I, <laughs> this is the only thing I will say. Again, same lineup has now played two weeks straight, four games total. And there was not a sub for Newcastle until the 90th minute. So they basically all played full 90s for four, four straight games in two weeks. I think, and I, I didn't get to watch this because I was working, so I'm leaning on you a little bit here. 79th minute, what, 86 and the 90th? Was it just wind out of the sails? Did like did they look bad from the beginning, or did they, did Everton just take the game over towards the end? No, no, no. It, it, was, it was a little bit more of... It was an even match. I will say this: like, they're, Everton had their opportunities. Everton had their momentum in there and their whatnot. I think if you're watching this game in the first half, you are sitting there and you can identify who the better team is, right? Like, you're just like, all right, Everton's had some opportunities, but Newcastle have better players, are the better team. But through the length of the game, Everton didn't have as much possession, but they had 21 total shots. They had six shots on target. They had three big chances, and it, I feel like they converted all three, to be honest with you. Uh, well, they missed one big chance, so they converted two of the three. And, like, their XG was 3.23. So, like, it wasn't even halftime. I think you're getting right to around 35 minutes, and to the point I think that you're trying to make here, there's just a step behind. That, that, that Newcastle team is just dogged. They're tired. I, I think that, yeah. like, Almiron has honestly not even really looked that good in, in the game against City. Like, he was all right, didn't look that good. I think he's exhausted. Uh, they just need some reinforcements, and I haven't taken a look at their injury. Like, when are, when is everyone expected back? But they, they got to get him back in soon because if it's the same lineup this weekend, it's going to be a much easier game for, for some team they're playing. Yeah, the... I'm just looking. The first half XG for Everton is 1.99, so two, 13 total shots. So, and then they outpaced them the second half as well, only albeit not a ton. Um, mm-hmm. So, I, I think it's also just easier. Who did Who did Newcastle? They had Chelsea, PSG, Man United. I think those are all games you're just getting up for mentally more than a trip to Everton at yeah. the same time. So, for sure, for sure. Um, but, but this is why I, I do want to stick on this one. Like, where, what is the height of that Everton can go now? Like you said, if you if you don't take away those 10 points, they're in 10th place. They got 20 points. I think they're, they're closer. I think they're probably a worse version of West Ham, which is like right. I mean, I'm, ca- I'm copping out here. West Ham are literally in ninth, so of course they'd be in 10th. But... Mm-hmm. I think that they could be kind of a pain in the ass for for some teams. Not like last year. Last year, they got behind, they, they rolled over. And this year, they're one, they're not giving up goals nearly as much. And two, yeah. they're scoring. They're actually putting the, ch- the chances away. And all year, they've had really good XG in comparison to other teams around them. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. If you do the, the Brighton, West Ham, Chelsea, Brentford, Fulham, Wolves... That like eight through thirteen. When they go on the road, they're suspect. When they're at home, they're a tough out. Like I feel like each of those teams you can describe them that way. Yeah. So they so. are. 
So they're they're ninth in XG right now. They're actually ahead of United, Spurs, West Ham, um, teams like that. Behind, you know, the teams you'd expect: Brighton, Arsenal, Villa. Brentford's actually way up there too. Um, so they're listen. They're they're performing way better than I thought they would. So you know, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Everton. I haven't the past few years because I thought they were gonna get relegated all the time. So I'll take it. Sorry. Yeah, so big one by Everton out of the relegation zone. Uh, we'd be remiss not to mention that Nick and and Dylan called it not a hot take uh, or not a bold prediction. But Nick already wins his bold prediction from last week. Uh, they are out of the relegation zone by. Uh, yeah, I know you're gonna say they can get back in it, obviously. But at this yes, moment, so it needs to actually when Boxing Day hits, they need to be out of it. Yes, but they're sitting. Okay. They're out of it right now. And we've. It's, I think they're fine. It's well documented. Those three teams behind them, not very good. I told you, twenty-five to thirty points, they'd need to lose. Yeah, 